lot of people come and they say they're having a horrible day. They walk through the flowers and they say, oh, it just fixed us. Look at a field of golden sunflowers and it's easy to see why people love them. The pretty petals, the positive presence, their draw is almost irresistible. And for Miller's Farm in Whitehall, that's exactly why they grew them. We milked cows. We were dairy farmers. We did that up until about 14 years ago. Then we stopped milking cows and went to just corn and soybeans. And then my son got the idea of having this meat market. My parents really wanted us all to go to college and all the way through school and just being around friends and stuff like that, we always used to sell beef by the quarters and halves. Everybody I always talked to said it was the best meat they ever had. I also knew that not everybody has the ability to buy a half of a steer. Once I came home, I knew we had to have supplemental income. My brother and I both said we could put a store up, sell meat, individual pieces of it. Trying to think of ways to get more people in here, we decided to try planting sunflowers and it was a hit. It wasn't just a hit, it was a home run. The five-acre patch acts as a giant billboard, drawing in customers from the two roads adjacent to the farm. Our sales probably go up 20 to 30 percent the three weeks that we have them. The field's photogenic nature also makes Miller's Farm very popular on social media, resulting in even more free advertising. However, growing a sunflower field this big is no easy feat. But after four years, the Millers have developed a pretty good process. We have to have the field prepped. It's got to be smooth, cleared off. Typically, you'll have to spray it once to make sure there's no noxious weeds coming in. Same planter we use for planting the corn. We'll fill it up with sunflower seeds, planting around 30 to 32,000 seeds of the acre. No matter what you do, you can do it all right. And if God doesn't send the rain and the, uh, and the sunshine, you're lost. It's all up to Mother Nature. This year, Mother Nature was kind. The Millers grew two sets of flowers, timing the second to bloom during pumpkin season, which is peak time for agritourism in Maryland. Once they're up, you get to enjoy it at that point. We get to sit back and enjoy what we've done. And it seems everyone enjoys it, from artists and photographers to young couples and families. We were just driving to where we needed to go, and Elliot said, hey, look at that, check that out. And I was like, oh my gosh, we should stop here. Right when we were doing it, the sun's coming out, so I was like, this is perfect. It kind of just brings out, like, joy. It's really nice to have the sunflower field super close to home, because it's something you can just go and take a short drive for a quick day trip, or like we did, we came here to take pictures. So definitely it's important to have something relaxing to do with the kids. It just makes my day so much better. What's not to like about the sunflowers? I like to just walk around and take pictures of them and enjoy them. There's like a form of self-care. Everyone should stop by and walk through the sunflowers. And for just a few dollars, anyone can do just that. Plus, they get to pick a flower of their own to keep. While the Millers appreciate the extra income, growing this crop is about more than just business. My favorite part about the sunflower field is making people happy. It's just so nice to come out every morning and see it. It's just so beautiful. One of our signs is take a hike and be happy. How can you walk out in the sunflower field and be sad? Thanks for watching Maryland Farm and Harvest. We hope you like the video. To learn more about our show and watch full episodes, check out mpt.org farm, or just click the link in the description.